Hey guys, it's me David and welcome to the very first review here in my new studio. I'm so excited and what, uh, what not better to do than to start off with a amazing new set review on the Lego Stranger Things, the Upside Down. It's got 2,287 pieces. Look at that age right there, 16 plus. This is an adult set, baby. Although I really feel like you could be a kid and totally get this. Um, it, I, Stranger Things is, is literally like, it's for all ages. I don't really feel like it's an adult show even though it's like, there's a lot of blood and gore. But anyhow, um, that's beside the point. This is an exciting set and you know, this set in itself, like I love the fact that Lego is doing more licenses beyond just, you know, Toy Story, Star Wars, uh, Harry Potter, um, that they're going to these really crazy themes that you wouldn't really see a, a Lego set be made out of. And I really think um, part of that is the Lego Ideas brand. You know how they've done like Tron Legacy. They've done a lot of space stuff. I, they did the Apollo rocket, just wild sets out there. Um, with and, and of course like Minecraft was how that started. So because of that, I feel like Lego has been changing over the last couple years. And so you're getting a Stranger Things theme now. It's just so wild. I never thought I'd see Netflix of all things on a Lego box. So it's just, it's strange. It's Stranger Things. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I love this box art, guys. Look at this. It flips around just like the show, you know, the upside down. If you don't know Stranger Things, then you won't understand that plot point. But uh, whoever did the box art is, is genius. This is so cool. I love it. Um, now, this set retails for $199, so basically $200 US dollars, kind of varies around the world. Um, this is a set that is very interesting, very unique. Um, it almost kind of reminds me of like a much bigger uh, of the Big Bang Theory Lego idea set because that was kind of like a house or as an apartment um, with all the all the key casts and stuff like that. Like, it's kind of like this part that kind of makes me think that. So it just kind of reminds me of that. But very cool set. I'm very excited to start building it. Um, don't forget guys this video this review is being recorded in 4k just like the show on Netflix Netflix is known for their 4k especially stranger things in 4k so I wanted to do the do the review in, uh, in crisp quality 4k as well so definitely watch it if you have a device that can do that all right guys without you let's go ahead and open this bad boy up where did I put my scissors they're right here here we go moment you've been waiting for I like how there's a light brick included we don't see those too often when we usually see those, they're in, I believe the winter holiday sets is usually when you when you see those type of things. Also, before I open this, I just want to show that, look at that back to the box. It's just as awesome as the front. Like, they really, really went above and beyond on this. So let's see all the bags in here. Oh, there's a lot. That can't be everything. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> That's wild. Um, yeah, okay, so they, this, this is such a big set, apparently you get the white box. This is, uh, this is rare. Uh, these, usually you get a white box in like very high-end Lego sets, like the, the, the $400 plus tier. So this is interesting, kind of curious, just to see. I'm not going to pour it out because I feel like why the box is here. It's probably just splitting the bags up. So like this is maybe like this is bags like one through four. Or maybe this is like four through s like ten or something. So I'm going to leave this close. Well, I'm not going to take this out yet uh, just because I want to look at the instruction manual. All right, without ado, guys, I'm going to get into the time lapse. We're going to build this set, um, take a look at the end depth, and then we'll do my final thoughts. So let's do it. <laughs> Okay guys, so jumping into the end depth, as always, we start with the minifigures. As you can see, we get a special Stranger Things stand with a sticker on the panel there. 
Um, the stand only has four minifigure like slots uh, for the main cast. So you have Eleven, Dustin, Lucas, and of course Mike on the end there. Um, all of them have the kind of mid posable uh, legs, so they they're small legs, but they can move. Um, here's the back view of all the characters. They all have back uh, torso printing. None of them have leg printing. Um, but they do have uh, different like hairs, colors, and special pieces for that. Mike has a dual-sided face, so does Dustin, but uh, Eleven and Lucas do not. Now on to the other figures, as you can see. Uh, we have Will, Will's mom, Hopper, and then of course the Demi-Gorgon. Will is actually a pretty cool character. He has like that special hair piece. And then you have Will's mom with a drawing of Will's um, Hopper, of course, and the Demi-Gorgon has a special uh, molded piece. Then as you can see, um, just Will and Will's mom have a dual-sided face with a different expression, and then Hopper, of course, doesn't. Moving on to the Demi-Gorgon, like I was saying, it's a special molded piece, and if you take that off, you'll see that uh, there's a head under there with the, basically the mouth closed, and then you'll also see as like Wolverine claws as his hands. Next up, we have Hawkins Police Department, aka Hopper's truck slash car. Um, it's actually very well designed. Um, pretty, pretty shocked with how well designed it is. Like Lego really used some interesting techniques for creating it. You can take the whole top off and you can fit Hopper and uh, it also comes with a pumpkin included from the pumpkin patch in Stranger Things. Um, still looks really cool, but you can fit uh, maybe two people in the back. I would say one though, but um, it's a very, very nice looking car. Next up is Will's bike. Of course, we see that the very first episode of Stranger Things, it's what Will is traveling on. And then of course the upside down gets him. Um, speaking of that, uh, as you can see the upside down itself, basically it's Will's and Will's mom's house. Um, and it is flipped. Um, so you have the normal, you know, our world, and then you have the upside down world or the opposite, whatever you want to call it. It looks so good. I love the dark blue and the grays and the blacks being used for the upside down. I think it works wonderfully in this set. Um, just giving you a full turnaround of all the amazing detail. There's a, I, there's a fair amount of stickers. Speaking of which, here's a, spi uh, a sticker of good old Barb. <laughs> We all love Barb. Um, but yeah, a lot of stickers you can see on the side of the you know, the stickers for the stone wall on the side there. But most of the actual outer details is out of Lego. And there's techniques here that I've never seen really be used fully um, in a set like this. So this is very cool. You'll see there's some outdoor furniture. There's even right here. It's a little swinging uh, chair, um, which I think is absolutely so cool. And actually the upside down version has that same very, uh, swinging chair as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's Will's mom. And then, um, you can also see that you can attach Hopper's car to the set. And when you attach it through that little pin there to the bottom of the, the car, it actually stays there. Um, so when you flip, and you'll see here in a second, uh, best way to flip it, by the way, is just to hold one hand on each side of the roof. Um, and, uh, that's probably the best way to do it. But anyhow, um, before we flip it, actually, we're going to take a look at Will's room, which has a ton of detail, little bedspread, little Jaws poster there, stereo in the back, little desk, couple lamps, a little, uh, uh little telephone there that of, of course we know that's the telephone that Will tries to contact his mom through. Speaking of which, you can see the lights in the wall has this, special little light brick which i've never really seen before it's actually pretty cool where the light brick uh casts through another lego piece to get the um, dots on the wall which is neat you also see that there's a little will byers poster i love that it says 1.5 inches tall it's a little lego tidbit you also see the bear trap and the axe of course from the first uh, season of stranger things a little rules book of dungeons and dragons i believe and speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, here's a little magic hat that I believe Will uses for his Dungeons and Dragons games. I'm not sure about that. A little uh, camcorder um, on top in the attic parts. 
And now we flip the entire creation over and boy, does it look awesome. I love it. It's so cool that you can just flip it like that and nothing breaks or anything like that. It's extremely sturdy and well-made. Um, and then just as I was just showing you everything, the couch, the lights, Will's room, the chair, the, the, the posters, it's all been, uh, darkened uh you know it's the upside down so it's kind of like this evil dreary world and it's literally a perfect uh version with of course the added bonus of every everything looking very dreary and sad and dull um but keeping the detail speaking of detail i'll tell you this is really cool they used a little whip you see on the columns in the back behind will there they use little whips to create that little like kind of vine around the columns which is so cool um, just little details like that make this uh, set just so much better. I love it. You'll see that the tree branches are kind of held on by different pins and things. Very, very interesting design. I haven't seen this in a normal Lego set before. Um, it's very unique. And again, there's that flipping mechanism. I would just hold each roof over and then just kind of move your arms over. I, It's not easy to flip this thing with one hand. I don't recommend it. Um, here's the Demigorgon again, of course, Hopper. And that's it, guys. So let's go into the uh, final thoughts. All right, guys. So we took the in-depth. And as you guys can see, the attention to detail in this set is extraordinary. I've never seen such accuracy to source material from a TV show and a Lego set. This is the, the designers have our designer, I think it's one designer, one graphic designer on this set, but they've outdone themselves with the little details. I I can't believe they made the light brick thing work. Like I, I thought maybe it'd be a little gimmicky, but the fact that they, they took a translucent Lego piece and then printed so that only little holes would come through, used the light brick and put, uh, put that in front of it to create like um, projection holes onto the back of the sticker like that's just mind-blowing to me as a lego fan i've never seen something like that in the lego set and there's tons of other little techniques uh for example like the tree this little tree stem right here they're using a hot dog piece to create like just a more realistic looking stem so it's not just straight it's actually at an uh, angle and they're using this like kind of weird piece to create that um, it is just so unique guys. Uh, there's tons of that. That's, that's just, that's just a little bit of the attention to detail in this set. And I think that's the best thing you're going to get out of it is, well, I mean, obviously the playability is pretty cool too, but I think while you're building the set, the details are there and they even, even in the instruction manuals, they give little details and tidbits, uh, from the TV show about what you're building. So, uh, for example, when you finish uh, Will's mom's house, uh, it, it says that the house is from based off the, the Evil Dead from 1981. Like just little facts are within the um, instruction booklet, and I love that. It, it makes the build more fun and makes you more interested in what you're building. Um, and that you kind of need this because you're basically building the same thing twice. Um, the upside down part, so when I flip the whole model like this, it's literally a perfect copy of the bottom. Um, there's nothing missing. If you think, oh, maybe because it's the bottom part that there's gonna be less detail. No, there's actually more detail actually with all the trees and branches. And the bottom part's definitely the harder bit to make because you kind of get lost between all of the dark blue and grays and black. They all kind of just blend together on the table. Even with a light color table like I have, um, it was a bit tricky. The build itself took me about three hours and 45 minutes in total. That's what my camera told me on the time lapse. So not terrible, but it's definitely a long build. And now I understand why they, um, why, why this is 16 plus is because of the techniques they're using. It is, you, it's, it's not a delicate model when it's done, but when you're building it, there are parts where if you're not careful, you can easily break it all apart. Um, so you have to be very gentle when you're building it. And then once it's done, it's totally sturdy and everything, but the, but there's little bits and uh, little bits and pieces, pun intended, um, that can get a little uh, messy in terms of like, if, if you're not careful, it can kind of break apart and all of that. But um, I, I, 
Obviously the main play function is the turning of the whole set. I love the fact that they've made it so Hopper's car here can stay attached when you flip it. You don't have to, um, it, do it doesn't just uh, stick on there. And um, the car itself is also really well designed. It's also using some interesting Lego techniques. A lot of the techniques that I see in this set are techniques that I actually see in the Lego adult community. Um, and usually they stay in the adult community. It's rare to see Lego designers pick up on those techniques and use it in the Lego sets, but usually because the age number, age range is usually uh, too low for them to introduce anything complex and complicated. But, um, you know, it's just also really cool to see the evolution of the last like 20 years of these higher end adult uh, themed sets where uh, they're definitely adding the, the difficulty much higher actually in the build. So that's fun. The characters are really nice. I love that they basically included every character you'd want in this set. Um, I, I'm just really sad that they're ignoring poor Will, Hopper, and then of course Will's mom. Like, why didn't they make this stand longer so you could put all, heck, even the Demigorgon could be on this stand. I, I would want to stand with all eight characters. I think it's a little, like I get it, maybe you can like display the figures on, you know, put Hopper in his, um, in his not car, I guess, is it a car or, is, or a truck? I guess it's a car because a truck would have a bed. Anyhow, um, I guess the point is you would put those on this, but I still want to, like, for people who come over and they're like, whoa, what's this? And they're like, oh my God, show your things. I, I want them to see all the characters right here rather than having to hunt them around here. That's just a personal opinion. I don't know if everybody agrees with that, but for me, um, I definitely like the stand to be longer. Good news is that this is extremely easy to extend. Just a you know, quick little brick link uh, order and boom, you can extend it uh, much further to include all the characters, which I will actually be doing. Um, but it, it just kind of, that's my only little complaint for this set is that it doesn't extend. I think the price is amazing for all the custom hair pieces, custom parts. There's a lot of variety of parts, colors in this. Like it's so colorful. You have all of the you know natural colors and then you have all these dark tones uh hopper's car like it's just it's totally worth the the 200 in my opinion i actually you know i'm surprised this isn't a 250 dollars set um i think 200 dollars is a very fair price for what you're getting there's nothing like this set that you can turn it like this like it's just crazy last thing i just want to mention is um i think a piece fell off but uh, I think I did that actually. But the last thing I want to mention is that it is possible uh, to take the whole thing apart actually and have the building separate and all of that. Um, there's these little uh, pin connectors. They're not really pins, they're like ball head connectors um, all around the whole thing that's keeping it together. And you can definitely take it all apart. Um, I don't really recommend it actually though because it's, it's pretty tricky. Um, they're not the easiest to put in. Um, so it's, it, it's not the the thing you're gonna the ball head that you're gonna break. It's likely that while you're pulling it apart, you're gonna break something else on it. So I I recommend just you uh, just playing with the model and showing it off the way it is. I don't recommend taking it all apart and separating it all. But you can do it if you want. So just letting you guys know. Um, yeah, I absolutely recommend this set. Uh, go out and buy it if you're a Stranger Things uh, fan. Uh, season three of Stranger Things is coming out basically right now. And oh my God, like uh, it's crazy. The quality of the show has increased so much over the last couple of years. It's basically a Game of Thrones level quality and also hype, I feel like. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited. Maybe we'll see a Lego Game of Thrones set. Just kidding, no, they're, they're never gonna do that. But um, it's just crazy how, how high quality the show is. And then the fact that we have a Lego set from that show, from a Netflix show. Uh, I just wanna thank Lego for providing this set for review. They're not paying me to say anything. Everything that they said is my own opinion, but just know that Lego did provide this set. So thank you guys to the wonderful people over at Lego. All right, guys, this is gonna be it. I'll leave a link down below in case you're wondering uh, where to purchase it. Um, so yeah, all right. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.